so in today's session we will uh, we are going to uh, see the controls okay so controls represents the user interface elements on the form okay so on the form what are the things you are seeing okay like a attributes okay like a iframe like a web resource and subgrades so this all are the controls okay so each attribute in the form will have a at least one control associated with it okay so not every control is associated with an attribute okay so for example iframe and web resource and subgrades these controls doesn't have any attributes the controls the controls have, are available the controls are available from the xrm.page.ui.controls it will use the collection okay so collection and it will use the results as the all the controls on the form okay to access the specific control we have to use the xrm.page.ui.controls.get okay so this is a method the shortcut form is the xrm.page.get control okay so the following table list of the functions it will contains the controls okay so xrm.page.get control okay so it will contains the clear notification okay on the field level also we can able to set this some notification okay if you want to clear that notification we will use the, this method clear notification okay so get attribute it will give the attribute that control is bounded okay so get control type okay so if you will get the information about the control type either it is a lookup or it is a i frame or it is a tab okay we will get this control type here so here we will have a get disable and set disable okay so by using this methods we can able to disable the particular control okay on the form here we have a get label and set label okay so if you want to retrieve the certain label of the field we will use this method get label if you want to set if you want to set the label for to the control okay we will use the set label okay so next get name okay by using this method we can able to get the name of the control get parent okay so what is the parent element for this control okay so next one get get visible or set visible okay if you want to hide the particular field on the form or a, you want to show the okay you want to hide or enable for this we can use the these two methods okay set visible if you, if you pass the boolean flag either if you pass the true it will be visible if you pass the false okay so that one it won't it will be hidden so next method is a set focus okay so through the code you want to set the focus on a particular field we will use the set focus okay so next method is a set notification okay it will display it display a message near the control it will indicate the data is not valid okay so like if for example we want to show some messages and all on the on the field level we can set the some notif notifications so next one is a lookup controls lookup controls so for the lookup controls we will have it this following methods okay so here we have a add custom filter okay so in the in the javascript we can able to filter the 
look up and we can able to add the custom view and we can able to add the free search okay and we can get, uh, get and we can able to get the default view and set the default view and we can able to remove the free search okay so these are the methods available for the lookups okay so next one following is the option set control for option set controls we have a get initial value okay it will returns the value that represents the the value set the option set or a boolean when the form is open okay so this one so by using this method we can able to get the initial value of the particular field so get options it will return this what are the options is available on the form in the pick list okay get selected option okay what is this your selected option you will get it here get test okay what are the option you selected so the it will return the text of the lookup sorry option set so here add option and remove option by using this methods we can able to add the custom things to the uh, option set and by we can able to clear the clear uh, all the options okay next i frame so i frame and web resource controls having the get data and set data and get the url and get object and set uh, set src and get src for the i frame okay so next submit control we have only refresh method okay next on change event okay on change event for the particular fields okay so we have a, we can able to add the on change or a remove on change for the particular field and we can able to fire the on change from a javascript also okay okay here these are the methods is available in a crm in a javascript framework so and next coming to the what are the common methods we will use in a regular basis okay in our job okay the first statement is a getting the value from the crm from a crm field okay so this one is a xrm dot get attribute dot schema name dot get value okay so here we will give the value of the particular field okay so next set value to the particular crm field okay so here xrm dot page dot get attribute and field schema name okay and set value okay so these are the new what are the value you want to use it we can able to set the value okay so next get value from the crm option set okay so from option set how we can read the value okay uh, or we can how we can get the value okay so it is similar to the first statement it will give the value of that okay for example you want to read the text of the selected option okay so we will use the get get attribute schema name dot get text okay so set value to the option set okay so xrm dot it is the same here set value means we have to pass the value of the particular option okay so if you pass the text it won't set to the field okay so next get selected text from the option set field okay so xrm dot page dot get attributes it will gives the get selected option option set so next method get the selected value 
of the CRM option set field. Okay, so here we can have the XRM dot base dot get attribute. So what are the get selected option set dot value? What is the value is selected? Okay, so next, so getting the get the value of the lookup field. Okay, so XRM dot base dot it will give the get value. It will give the object. So here lookup object dot name it will use the name. Lookup object of ID it will use the ID of the record. So for example you want to set the value to the lookup field. Similar way we have to first we have to define an array and we have to define an object. Uh, for the object we have to set the ID and the name and lookup entity type. So it is nothing but an entity name. So again this lookup item we need to set to the lookup lookup data of zero. So then we can this lookup data we can set it to the the similar set value. So here we want to the next method disabling. You want to disable a particular field. We have to use the xrm dot base dot ui dot controls dot get. Here we can set disabled equal to true. Or we have to you want to hide the particular field. Okay. So here set visible equal to false. So you want to hide the particular tab. So here xrm dot base dot ui dot tabs dot get the tab name and set value equal to false. So you want to hide this section in the particular tab. Okay. First you want to retrieve the tab. So under the after the tab we will have a section. Okay. You are by that text section name we will pass the set visible equal to false. So in the JavaScript you want to mandate the particular field. Okay. So here we have a xrm dot paste dot get attribute and schema name set require level. Okay. Equal. So here we have to pass the required. So if we pass the required, it will become a mandatory. So if you say if you pass the none, it is a non-mandatory. And if it is passed the recommended, so it will become a business recommended. So next statement is a set focus. Okay. So set focus on a particular field. So it is a get control dot get set focus equal to true. So cancelling the event. Okay. So cancelling on save event. We uh, we have to use the pre event default value equal to true. So next checking the is dirty if the field is is dirty or not. So get is dirty it will give us the, the field is modified or not. So next check the is dirty for the, all the entity all the fields. Okay. So here we will is xrm dot page dot entity dot get is dirty. It will give us the all the fields is modified or not. Okay. So next one xrm dot page dot get attribute okay crm field schema name set submit mode is always so here we want to get the some organization name so we will use the xrm dot page dot context dot get unit name okay so next one get server url in crm so here we will use the xrm dot page dot context dot get server url okay so next one xrm dot page dot entity dot get id it will give us the record guid so get user id current login user id we can get it by using this statement Okay, xrm dot page dot context dot get user id so if you want to retrieve the entity name okay 
so here xrm dot paste dot data dot entity dot get entity name okay if you you want retrieve the all the what are secret rows the user having so by using this statement you will get the all the secret rows for the user so so next one is the getting the form type okay so here we have a form types in crm so is the is the user creating a new record or not how we can check if the form type equal to equal to one so that is the user creating a new record so is the user is updating on a, a an existing record so how we will find it so we will have a xrm dot page dot ui dot get form type equal to equal to two so is the user unable to update the record in the form so that means we will get the xrm xrm dot page dot equal to four so is the record is deactivated record so if it is a form type so is the user creating a quick view form so that is a form type equal to five so is the user using the bulk edit form okay so that is for type is a form six so saving a record so entity dot save or entity dot save save and close and save and new so for example you want to close the form xrm dot ui dot close so these are the methods we will most commonly will use it 